Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and actually in this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily color grade multiple photos and if I told you have so many photos to edit or color grade in Photoshop this is the right video for you so simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if I told you are watching and you notice subscribe to this channel so right now we have three photos right here and we just want to color grade them and these are raw photos so just want first of all process the raw photos within camera or even Lightroom if I told you use Lightroom so I'll select all the photos right here and I'll simply right click and simply come to op open with and come to Photoshop 2020 just the version I'm using and these are the photos that we have to work upon or work on so before you proceed you always have to first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding your image so for this image right here you can see that you have these kind of blown out highlights and want to open up the shadows slightly so I'll just come to my highlights and simply take the highlights down just like that and simply do the same for the whites and open up the shadows. Then I'll come and add some contrast to the image after around 7. 7 is okay. And I'll warm up the image because I prefer a slightly warm skin tone. And after ensuring that I've corrected, corrected the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image, I'll come straight down here to my HSO panel or the color mixer right here and I'll work on or deal with the green colors right here. So I just come first of all the hues. A hue is a given shade of a color so you can change a color to look like a, the color on top of it or below it. So for example the greens, you can make the greens more like the yellows. That is moving the slider towards the left hand side you make the greens more to the yellows. And towards the right hand side you make the greens towards the color below it which is the aquas so i'll just come and simply make my greens towards the aquas just like that and this makes the greens slightly oversaturated and I'll also take the yellows towards the greens just like that then come the saturation and remember saturation is the intensity of a given color so i'll come to saturation and simply drop or reduce on the intensity of the greens just like that and I'll do the same for the yellows to make my subject stand out a little bit more. So after doing this, I'm just going to apply the adjustments to the rest of the images. So I'll just come and select this very image. And I'll come and apply the previous settings. Sorry about that. So like I said, always come and apply the settings or you can first of all create a preset for this so you can copy the edit settings from this very image and apply it to this very image so from this image just come and you come and copy the edit settings and after copying them just come to the next image and come and apply or paste the edit settings from the previous image and you can see this is a little bit looking pale so i just going to correct this right now so just come and add some contrast and take down the exposure slightly and open up the shadows slightly just like that then you're going to come to the next image and also paste our edit settings just like that so when you feel like it is okay for your liking just stop right there so we are just going to open these images so select all of the image by pressing ctrl a or you can press ctrl and you select we can use command and select all the images right here and simply come to open to open the images into Photoshop to do the final color grading. So you can see these are images straight from camera or if at all you're using Lightroom. And this step that we're going to be doing, we're just going to make the images have a uniform skin tone. In this case, you can see that we have and even skin tones regarding this very image. So just want to map or copy the skin tones from this very image and we make sure that we have a uniform color within the skin of our subject or model right here. So we are going to come right here and first of all create that kind of preset by coming to our, we're just going to come right here to our gradient map and select it and it's going to apply this given color and then apply this color simply come and hide this layer and select the gradient icon so make sure the gradient icon has been selected and when that is selected simply 
come to this color right here and simply single click on that color and it's going to open up the gradient editor so when the gradient editor has been opened right here make sure you come and change the color picker tool to 5x5 five five average because you just want it to be precise when you're trying to copy or map the skin tone color from a given area that we want the rest of the skin to look like so just come to this dark point so this is going to be the darkest point of the skin tone and this is going to be the brightest point of the skin tone so just come to the darkest point single click yeah and simply come right here and simply single click and it's going to open up the color picker so zoom into the image that you want to copy the color from so for this i'm just going to use the face as a reference point because she was putting on makeup so just come to the darkest point of the skin and simply click right there so left click on that area and hit ok and now just come to the brightest point of the skin single click right there and just come the color right here and come and click on the brightest point of the skin of our subject or model just like that and you can as well move this to the area of your liking so i'm just going to move it just there and hit ok so just come to the midpoint so just click in the middle and make sure you set the location just type in 50 right here so that it can be targeted straight to the middle 50 is okay and now come to the color and simply click on the mid tones or the mid color of the skin so I'll just choose that as the mid color and hit okay and you can see that we have the colors mapped from the darkest mid tones to the brightest color and come and hit okay so after doing that just come and now activate this layer and come the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to color so you can see this is affecting the overall image in this case so what we want to do in this case i'm just going to close this briefly so what i'm going to be doing in this case we just want to save this as a preset so that you can apply it on the rest of the images so just come right to file so come to file export and come to color lookup tables and make sure the grid point is 32 and medium is selected make sure it is a cube file and hit ok and rename the light to whatever you want so i'm just going to name this to uh, Z Z tutorial just like that so that is going to be the name of my color lookup table and i'll just save it to the desktop and simply hit ok so it has now been saved and it is going to be time to apply it to the rest of the image so when i delete this and just come to my color lookup so just come to color lookup and load 3d LUT. click once again and you locate your LUT. so i'm just going to come down here and click on my LUT and hit open it is going to apply the color to the image but this looks awkward and it looks a little bit odd so what you're going to do in this case we're just going to only apply the color grading on the skin and what we have to do in this case simply select the layer mask right here and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard so press ctrl i for windows or you can use command i for mac to invert that effect from affecting the overall image so just come and get the brush tool so this is the normal brush tool and make sure the hardness is set to zero percent and soft round brush is selected Make sure the opacity is at 100%, flat 100%, and with that, then make sure you have black and white right on these color swatches. So, if at all you have any other colors right here, you can press D on the keyboard, and that is going to reset. So, D is going to reset or bring back black and white. Remember in Photoshop, black is going to reveal and white is going to, rather, white is going to reveal and black is going to hide. That is why. Our effect was hidden this black mask so just going to make sure the white is on the foreground color so we are going to increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket on the keyboard and simply paint on the skin so we are now going to be painting on the skin of our model just like that so paint on only the skin so I'm just going to do a very quick job right here. And you can see in this case, it is now making the skin look uniform. So don't mind if I told you paint extras because you can always come and 
rub away or erase the extras from given areas. So I'm just going to paint just there like that. So if I told you I've painted extras, you can switch the brush back to black by using the arrow key right here. You can use X on the keyboard. So with black selected on top, and you can now come and rub away the extras that you have painted as you're trying to. So you can see that we also painted on the lips of a model. Just come and erase it from the lips or even the eyes to reveal the original lipstick color. Just like that. And we can as well erase it from uh, the models here just like that. So right now we are done color grading this very image. You can see an, the skin is now looking uniform and better. So if at all you want to apply it on the rest, the next image, just come and select the image. And you can do the same process. So just come back here to load 3D LUT. Click and locate your LUT once again. Click on it and hit open. This selected, press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard. And with the brush selected, make sure it is white as a foreground color to paint on the skin and reveal the color grading on uh, the skin. So just come and simply paint just like that. And if at all the effect is too much on the skin, you can as well always come and you rub away or erase the effect or reduce on the opacity of that effect. So I'm just going to paint on the skin just like that. And you can see just like that, the skin is looking uniform. So I'll just come and erase the extras just like that. So just take your time while doing this. So if I told you don't have capture one, this can be a better alternative regarding uh, making or achieving uniform skin tones for your images. So I'll just come and paint just like that. So like I said, if I told the effect is too much, just come the opacity and reduce the opacity to the one of your liking. So I'll just come to the next image and I apply it once again. So come to color lookup and load 3D LUT. Locate my LUT and simply click on it and hit open just like that. Make sure this is selected. Press Ctrl I on the keyboard or you can use Command I on the keyboard. With the brush selected, make sure white is the foreground color. And increase on the size and just come and paint on only the skin just like that. So take your time and it would be better or faster if at all. You own a graphics tablet, so I'll just come and erase the extras just like that. So you can see this is an easy way of how you can easily color grade your photos if at all you don't have capture one. So you can see I'm just trying to erase away the extras just like that and reveal the original makeup. So, like I said, if at all it is too much, you can as well come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to the one of your liking. So you have simply color graded these photos in just a simple preset or color lookup table. And now the skin is looking better and it is looking uniform. So this is it for this video. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all you are watching and you're not subscribed this, to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more tutorials on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.